Would you say that a big part of your success, I mean, so many things you did well, but you got in the business of solving problems. I know your story. You just kind of, each level that you were given an opportunity, you were kind of taking that approach. Not kind of, you took that approach that you just laid out for us. Um, Would you say that a big part of your success was not only taking a real direct approach towards problems, but also empowering your team, the leaders under you to actually take that same approach and go solve problems? Just go solve problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. The only reason I moved forward in corporate America, honestly, is because I solved problems. Mm -hmm. I didn't look like most of the people who were rising in uh, the ranks at that company. People didn't expect that of me. I didn't expect that of myself. But what I figured out is every time I solved a problem, it felt great. Mm -hmm. And every time I worked with others to solve problems, and by the way, that's the only way you actually solve problems. You work with others, whether it's Jim or your colleagues. They don't have to be your subordinates. It felt great. And so I came to learn about myself. As most people do, once they get into problem-solving mode, it's fun. Hmm. I ran to challenges. I ran to problems. I would run to the jobs where people said, oh, don't take that job. Whoa, it's too hard. Wow, there are too many problems. Everybody told me not to take the HP job. Hmm. Don't, it's too hard. But when you do hard things and you accomplish something important, wow, it feels great. And here's the thing I've also learned about myself and I've learned about others. There is a look that people get when they accomplish more than they thought they could. It was the look in Jim's eyes when he saved $300 million. It's the look we see in our kids' eyes when they do something they didn't think they could. It's the same everywhere. And no matter who you are, you get that look. It's this look of, wow, I did something that I think matters. And I did something I didn't think I could. And I did it with a group of people to whom I am connected and with whom I have collaborated. That look, for me, is fuel. And so I want to see that look Mm -hmm. in as many people as possible. What was it like for you uh, in any level of your leadership where you took this approach personally, you taught it, you empowered it, and then what is it like for the leader when you get reports and the entire meeting or the entire report is a problem that you weren't even aware of and somebody went and fixed it and they're just reporting to you, problem existed or it arose, we went after it, we fixed it, here's the update. How rewarding is that for you when you would see that and see that whole thing come to fruition? It's, it's incredible. It's awesome because what you're seeing is the birth of a leader. What you're seeing when people do that is somebody who maybe was a manager, maybe even had a lot of ambition for position or title, but they weren't leading. And now they're leading. And I think it's true of all the people I've ever interacted with in all walks of life and all over the world. When people face a challenge head on, when they get themselves through their fears, and we're all afraid, when people face a challenge head on, when they find others with whom they can connect and collaborate who also face that challenge, and then they actually make progress, that's a great feeling. And people want it over and over and over. Once people start to lead, they generally keep going. 